Hi guys, welcome back to Star Soaps channel. I've got a really exciting video to bring for you today. I was kind of, I guess, with a little bit like an ostrich with my head under the sand. Um, I was living here in New Zealand in Wee Stratford, which is a small area of New Zealand. You can look it up if you want to. We're little. It's kind of neat because we're sort of based on Shakespeare, our whole town, all the street names and everything. <laughs> Anyhow, living in little old New Zealand, where I am, I didn't really think that I could get very many fragrance oils. I thought I was kind of limited to essential oils only and they're expensive and I was having a hard time sort of staying with them to still be able to continue making soap and everything and be able to afford it. Um, so I've been looking around to get fragrance oils and I got, as you guys know, I have those fragrance oils that you often see me using, <coughs> excuse me, in those little clear bottles with the white lids. I got them on um, Trade Me, which is it's our eBay basically. And it was somebody who had bought them from a supplier in America but never said who the supplier was and um, didn't want them or need them anymore and was just getting rid of them basically at cost, like cheap. So I got a good deal and I got a lot of fragrance oils but they're not in the best bottles and then some of them didn't even have labels on them, I didn't know what they were. And five of them, as stated in the auction, just didn't have any um, name as to what fragrance they were. They were just mystery fragrances and you had to sort of guess, well I would had to guess what the fragrances were and I found that um, some were easy and then there was probably about two of the five or six that were mystery oils that were really difficult for me to figure out what they were. So um, anyhow that is how come, that, those are the fragrance oils that I've been using. I didn't know anything about them. I didn't know if they sped up trace and soap or if they were good for skin or anything. It was all an experiment. As I've gone on they're all totally fine on the skin. Some of them do speed up trace as you'll see in my videos but what I've learned is that things like the florals can sometimes do that, some of the florals don't, some do. So yeah, there's definitely something about it. Now, the reason, Waffle Waffle, why I'm actually here with you today is because I found someone in New Zealand that makes and sells fragrance oils. They're called Candle Creations. Now, I'll just correct myself, I don't believe they make them, I believe they import them and then bottle them and sell them. But either way, it's someone in New Zealand who is doing fragrance oils and that's what I bought. I bought I think 15 or 16 maybe 14 of the little bottles just little sampler bottles enough to do me one small test batch so that I can test them out see what I think of them and then pick maybe five that I want to buy regularly and make soaps in those fragrances so I'm gonna open them up with you I'm gonna smell them with you I'm gonna get my phone which will have all the descriptions from the site on it so that I can read to you what they're supposed to smell like and everything and um yeah and then we can I can start planning on what soaps I'll be able to make with them and I'm hoping because there was a couple of fragrance oils that I really wanted that they didn't have so I'll be placing another small order like this to try them. Um, there's black raspberry vanilla which I'm super excited that they have because a lot of the soapers that I speak with in America talk about using it and they say it's a really popular fragrance but there's also a chocolate fragrance that they're out of that I'm really keen to get my hands on and a couple of other ones. So there will be another order like this um, in the future when I can afford it but for now I have this wicked little box so I'll just change your, the angle and we'll open them up and we'll get smelling. <laughs> I'm right here. Let's get into it. Got a glass of water here to help me. I also have some coffee to smell in between scents to help to cleanse my nose. I've also got my phone on the website so I can just describe the scents to you in case the information isn't on the bottle that much information I don't know I have no idea I've never ordered from these people before this is totally new and exciting I mean it's hard to get through this okay almost there yes okay. information on my order here so I mean did I get or 11 in the end and it looks like I got I don't know for all the ones that one special because I'm like that Virgo okay. they're definitely in different bottles than what I've had before so that's cool but they're just little just little bottles okay so I'm glad that I brought up the 
website because all it's told me is just the name of each fragrance here. Um, I'm just going to pull them all out. There is Cucumber, Melon, Cherry Moya, Bergamot and Neroli, Lemon Cheesecake, Pumpkin Chai, Coffee, Herbs by the Sea, Fig and Mint, Basil, Love Spell, name rubbed off, and Star Fruit and Citrus, and that name rubbed off too, because that one tried to leak it seems. Jolly leakers. So, I wonder why it's done that. It's a pain. Mmm, that smells good already. So, what have I got on straight away on the top of the list? I've got Cherry Moya. I never even heard of Cherry Moya before and I didn't even know what it was. It says it's a blend of green leafy notes and Cherry Moya or Melange, characterized as notes of banana, pineapple, peach, strawberry, and papaya on a base of light musk. Let's give it a sniff. Mmm. Oh, I like that. Cherry Moya is nice. If that soaps and stays like that and smells like that in the soap, I'll be very happy. Okay, so the next one on the list. Basil. And here it is. Basil. And I think it just said that it smells very true of basil. It captured the essence of garden fresh basil. Mmm. Mmm, it's nice. It's kind of fruity. Didn't expect it to be fruity. Mmm, nice. Basil. That might be quite a good one for a man soap, a man fragrance. It's quite fresh smelling, so that's quite good. Okay, next. Bergamot and Neroli. I know I love Bergamot. It says, warm woods blend with Neroli, geranium and cassie with sparkling top notes of lime and bergamot. You see a theme happening here? Fruity. Oh, wow. Mmm. Okay, their bergamot and neroli smells a lot like a passion fruit and lime fragrance that I've tried before. And I like it. Mmm. Interesting. Okay. Next. <laughs> cool, here's the description for coffee. It just says... Smells just like a freshly brewed pot of coffee. Wow, and it kind of does. It's like really bitter. Mmm, I can imagine mixing that with vanilla and getting quite a nice coffee smelling soap. And I'm excited about that because I haven't done a coffee soap before and I've been saving up coffee grounds <laughs> to either put in or sprinkle over the top. So yeah. Okay, cucumber and melon, which was the first one that I pulled out of the box, is described as smelling like a fruity honeydew melon and green cucumber blending with tart apples and watery fresh greens. So again, I'm hoping this is going to be like a guy smelling fragrance. Hmm. Don't, I, know, I don't like that at all. I mean, I can smell the melon. I can't smell the cucumber really. Hmm. No, that's not up my alley at all. It kind of reminds me of a candy. It sort of reminds me of some melon candy or something that I've eaten that I didn't like the taste of, I think. So it's just bringing that back. <laughs> what a pity. No cucumber melon. <sighs> Better. Some coffee up in there. So now we have fig and mint. Sandalwood blends with fig, hyacinth, jasmine and refreshing spearmint with lemon zest top notes. Mmm. Oh, I like that a lot. Fig and mint is really nice. Oh, and I think that'll be a good guy fragrance, definitely. So that's good. So there's a couple there. There was, was it basil? Was it the other one that I thought would be good for guys? Yes. So fig and mint and basil might be alright for guys. We've got some really nice, sweet ones. Okay, herbs by the sea. I got this one instead of the fragrance that was called Ocean because this one was on special and um, I liked the description of this one better. It said the fresh smell of herbs on a sea breeze. 
So not just ocean, which just sort of smelled like salt and grit and ocean. Mmm, herbs by the sea is nice. That one could almost be a guy fragrance as well. It's almost got like, what does they describe there? Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, I like herbs by the sea as well. Herbs by the sea and fig and mint are quite similar. I like them both. Very nice. Lemon cheesecake. Which I got because I'm a huge fan of like um, honey, lemon scents. Anything that's like sort of lemon and honey mixed together I love. And this one said that it's the smell of a freshly baked cheesecake with notes of lemon and coconut. So. Here we go. Hmm. Now again, that one does smell like cheesecake, but I don't like it. It does not. It's got like I can smell right on the top that honey lemon scent that I talked about that I love. But then it's got like this base of sort of cookie dough scent, you know, to give it that cheesecake smell. And I don't, I don't dig that. Hmm. But I think that that would be really, really cool to make soap cupcakes with. I'd really like to make some more soap cupcakes and I'd really like them to smell like cake as well. So that would make really cool soap cupcakes. Alrighty. So that was lemon cheesecake. I only have three left that I haven't smelled. The star fruit and citrus, the love spell and the pumpkin chai. Okay, love spell is a dupe as far as I understand. A lot of people know it. And it says juicy citrus notes atop a fruity floral heart make this Victoria Secret dupe especially delectable. So this one's love spell. Hmm. No, I don't really like it. I wonder if that would smell different in the soap. No, nope, don't like it. I've got pumpkin chai. There was two organic chai tea or pumpkin chai, and I went for pumpkin chai. And I'm really excited to smell this. I hope it smells like what I'm hoping, what I want it to smell like, because I would like to get a massive bottle of it if it does. Because I want to make with real pumpkin in it and real cream or yogurt in it a really nice soap with this one. So it's described as creamy milk and vanilla blended with pumpkin and the rich spices of nutmeg, clove, and cinnamon to create a luscious delight. That's pretty much it, I think. I mean, I'm keen to get a little try of the organic chai tea one and see what that smells like as well, but that is pretty much it. That blended with maybe a little bit more vanilla just to sweeten it a little bit more would make that smell that I dig. And it just smells just like pumpkin pie. And if you saw a video that I did a little while ago where I got some soaps from a lovely lady called Opal and her company's called Brownstone Essentials, she sent me a couple of carrot soaps and they had sort of a chai or a vanilla chai scent in them and it was so good, I loved it. So that's sort of what inspired me to want to get that one. Okay, so the lucky last scent is the star fruit and citrus. Um, I didn't even know this one was there until the last minute and I grabbed it because it was on sale. And it says succulent star fruit, juicy peach and green apple overflow in this scent. So I'm keen to smell it because it, ooh, <laughs> it's keen to come out of there. Mmm, I love it. Mmm, now that it's actually ridiculously close to this one, the Bergamo and Neroli. But this one I think is more pleasant. I like the... Wow, they're so close it's scary. I like the um, starfruit and citrus more than the Bergamo and Neroli. That's really interesting. So I definitely want to get a big bottle of the starfruit and citrus. And I'd like to get a big bottle of the pumpkin chai and maybe a big bottle of either the fig and mint or the herbs by the sea. But again, I have to soak with them first and find out how well the scent... Mmm, they're both good and they're different. Sorry, how well the scent both holds up in the soap and also what it does to the soap if it speeds up trace or anything like that. So these are my glorious little fragrance oil tester bottles. I'm so excited to have found someone in New Zealand selling fragrance oil and I can hopefully keep trying out a few different ones and find the ones that work for me. So thanks for watching and stay tuned to see me make some delicious soaps with these fragrances soon.